Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I am suffering. <laughs> I've been suffering all day actually. But uh, we're back from the lake and you know what that means. I am a lobster. Uh, you guys think that Pete got sunburned. You see his face occasionally when he comes back from the lake. He looked like a freaking lobster. Like my face is like the only place I didn't get burnt. All right, I bet I'm at least 70% sunburnt right now like my entire body is completely and utterly miserable so with that being said what better way to recover from being miserable than to go to world of warships legends and just have a good time right right so let's see who's at in the chat right now we got dakota we got enrique we got shina zoller greatest comrade tj retro um uh, Glaru, uh, Glaru's book, Bush, Glaru, holy moly, I apologize, Glarus, boop, ah. all right, I'm just going to call you Glare, thank you so much, Neon Eagle, R9, Jeremy, Shadow Gamer, British Ninja, Rogue Warriors, uh, E. Johnson, Nick, Ryan, Nordic Toast, Enrique, Liam, Hefe, oh god, uh, Rogue, Pepsic, Shadow Gamer, Albert, Almond, Mace, J, Michael, and that seems to be it for the moment. So thank you guys for all dropping in. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy. We're just going to try to have a little bit of fun tonight. I don't know how long this stream's going to be, but uh, you know I've literally been laying in bed all day long. Because I don't want to do anything. Because my, my freaking entire body's sore. So, uh, yeah. I don't know what you guys want to... What, what do you guys want to... Let's just do it this way. Let's just put up a poll. What tier... Should... We play? Question mark. Uh, we're going to add as many options as we can. Looks like we can only have four options. So, we're going to go Legendary... I can't type tonight either. Apparently being sunburned affects my ability to uh, type. Who to thunk it? Tier 8. Tier 7. And Tier 5. Because that's another fun one. Alright, let's go. There you have it, folks. It is up. Robbie uh, Hilligus. Thank you so much. For becoming the newest member on the channel. Welcome to the Sparshoots, my dude. So we have our poll up. Who's going to win? What tier are we going to be playing tonight for this stream? I do have uh, Forza Horizon 5 there, Trevor. I do. I've played it a couple times on the channel. What up, Kushti? How's it going? We're up to 76 concurrent viewers. 16 likes. Come on. Let's see what we got. Tier 8's winning right now. What up, VDM? I'm doing good. Sore, but doing good. Looks like Tier 8's winning the fight so far. It is pretty close, though, between uh, Legendary and Tier 5 as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and make this, uh, this poll is going to last until 5.26 p.m. So, uh, up, up, make that 5.27 p.m. because it just swapped. So, you got one minute. Place your votes, boys. 
Place your votes. One more minute. Winner is the is the tier that we play for the rest of the day. Oh. Oh. It sucks to get sunburnt, man. I hate being sunburnt. See, that's the thing about me. Like, I can't go outside very long because my skin has always just been awful for the sun. The sun and I have a hate-hate relationship. Like, I get that it has to be there or we don't exist. But at the same time, it is miserable for me. I love, I love the outdoors. I love going outside. But, man, the sun has always been an issue for me. Always has. Oh, there we go. In the poll. And the winners are... Tier 8, then Legendary, Tier 5, and Tier 7. So it looks like we are going to be playing Tier 8s again today on this stream. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and set the filter. Now, the only downside is I only have the battleships for Tier 8 at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I guess we just go back and forth between playing these five ships. What up, Hoss? How's it going? Appreciate you dropping in. Spartan use yogurt. Actually, I've heard the best thing for getting rid of the burn of a sunburn is actually a shaving cream with menthol in it, uh, like Barbasol or something like that, because it pulls the heat out of the out of the burn. But uh, now we do it the old fashioned way around here. We just suffer through it. That, that way, next time, maybe I'll remember to bring freaking sunscreen. I have the sunscreen. It's right on my dresser. But I was running behind and completely forgot that and my GoPro. So I didn't even get video for you guys. It's real unfortunate. Like I wanted to get I wanted to get some video, but unfortunate. I did I did take a like a 30 second little clip of uh, Lake Erie, the sounds of Lake Erie. So that was fun. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay, so we got a short lobby of Xbox only. Great, fun. You love to see it. All right, well, in that case, I think we're going to go mid and see what happens. It was really fun. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed this weekend a lot. I got to go up Friday night, uh, spend a few hours with my aunt at her house in Canton. Right, She lives right next to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, which is pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, so... Went up there, spent spent the evening up at my aunt's house, got to talk a lot. Uh, we ended up talking until like a little after midnight. Then we got up bright and early to go to uh, the beach. We drove up to Lake Erie, uh, Headlands Beach National... I, is it State Park or National Park? I think it's State Park. But uh, it's it's a really, really fun time. It really was. Got to see the lighthouse. Got to see the nuclear power plant across from the lighthouse, across the, the water. Pretty cool. I don't get out much, so when I do get out, I try to I try to have a good time. Interesting. Interesting. I think the big mountain's gonna be in the way though. Oh no. We don't do that. Torpedoes, dead ahead. It's a whole lot of angry demon Torpedoes, fish out here. Ahead. Dude, if we can get into this gap. Is he gonna run aground? Kinda looks like he might run aground. We're gonna hold our fire initially. Enemy he ran aground. Full broadside. I thought he would reverse, he didn't. That's unfortunate. Thought he was gonna reverse, he just didn't. Like, who runs aground and then just sits there broadside in front of everybody? Doesn't seem like a very good way to stay stick around very long. And he's gone. Who could have saw that coming? 
Okay, we have detected another battleship with our spotter plane. We are spotted. I need so we know there's a destroyer here because we already saw torpedoes once. Our destroyer is coming back to spot for us, so we're going to make sure that we're in a good position to help them when they do spot whatever this turd is that's right in front of us. At least have our front guns ready. Should be popping up any moment. Boom! Oh, he got moving fast! Dang it! Okay, well, hopefully our guy doesn't take torpedoes. He just took these dead. Well, then. That's unfortunate. You love to see that. And by love, I mean you hate to see it, but still. Torpedoes dead ahead. That's kind of frustrating. That guy just popped out at the worst possible time. Torpedoes direct front. But we avoid those torpedoes, and we're going to push up. Use this moment to get up in here. See if we can't get a good shot at uh, any of these guys. Black has burned down our flounder. Bismarck's on the back side of an island. Des Moines is coming out. Those look really good. But he just takes it. It's five over pins, as usual. As usual. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. He's not going that fast, so we're going to take that shot a little bit further back. Those look amazing. Dude, imagine just getting overpinned in a Des Moines. If that's me, that's death. Like, that dude has just taken every single hit that I've given him for nothing. I need help. I'm worried about these two destroyers that are right off my bow right now. I need intelligence data. I need support. Negative. Dude, Cruiser, you're right behind me, dude. I need you. And it's, it's fucking, it's a radar cruiser. And what's he doing? He's running away from Torpedo, the potential torpedoes. I need intelligence data. Torpedoes dead ahead. If only we had a radar cruiser. Oh my god. Doesn't get much closer than that. Alright, Bismarck. Since my cruiser doesn't want to help me get rid of the destroyer, guess who gets to take center stage? Torpedoes dead ahead. It's so much fun when you get a fucking radar cruiser right next to you and you got two destroyers right in front of you on a smoke screen and nobody wants to do anything about it. That guy disappears. Torpedoes dead ahead. The ship is on fire. All stations. Yeah, that's the citadel. That makes sense. I scrape the edge of his torpedo protection, and that's the citadel, but I shoot seven rounds through the side of his ship and I get overpins. 
checks out. Definitely checks out. Problem solved, sir. This guy's changing direction. He's going to go forward. Ah, uh, he's turning in towards us. Okay. Bismarck, I'll deal with you in a minute. I gotta get rid of this DPM guy. Completely misses. Two shots touched his ship. One of them ricocheted the other pin. You want to play this game, Vanguard? That had to have been a Bismarck shot against us. Go ahead and make that turn. Go ahead. I'll wait. Thank you very much. Go back to port. The ship is on fire. Bonk. Alright, Bismarck. Remember how I said you had to wait your turn? You ready? Oh, you're running now. You're running. Okay. You don't want any. Now that I'm actually going to look at you. Okay. All right, Des Moines. It's your turn to go back to port then. How about that? Goodbye. Did he turn enough or no? Oh, my God. One shell. Okay, Bismarck, you want to show yourself now? I'm waiting. Oh, he's going to back up. Even better. That means I'll be the one to shoot him. Oh, look at him running. He's running away, guys. He's like, I'm in a Bismarck. I'm scared. Big angry battleship out here. Yes. Goodbye. Go back to port, sunshine. Bonk. All right, not a bad start to the stream. Love to see that. Suska, thank you so much for your two euros running Stepan Makarov and Vla on Vlad and Soju's works. Okay, nice. 123,000 damage start to the stream. Dreadnought High Cow. Second on the team, even though I don't know where our Des Moines was, but whatever. He must have been on that right flank that got to run through everybody but uh not bad not a bad start this guy could have done better not gonna lie he ends up getting a high cow but uh or no he got a dreadnought he got a dreadnought but he could have done better especially when i requested support on two destroyers that were like i don't know five kilometers off the bow of my ship and he has a radar and dpm but it is what it is let's go izumo What up, M. Ross? How's it going? Sean as well. Henchman, Alejandro, or Alessandro. 
Uh, Captain Noodles in the chat. What up? Albert. The occasionally sea potato and grit battler. Good lord. That's a name. What up, Mike? How's it going? Justin Barrett as well. Appreciate everybody dropping into the chat. We got 230 people watching, only 54 likes, guys. Come on, punch that like button if you like what I'm doing. It really does help the channel out a lot. So we got uh, Graf Zeppelin against us. That's not scary at all. We've got Montana, which is a little more scary. Shima, very scary. But other than that, a couple of Dimitri, or yeah, Dimitri Donskoys or whatever, and Dimitri. I think it's Dimitri, isn't it? Dimitri, whatever. Frederick DeGrosa, mine, main. Main. See, that's gonna fuck with me. So used to call it mines for the cruiser, the German cruiser, and now we have main in here. So that's gonna that's gonna throw me off. Appreciate that, Renee. Thank you so much. Uh, is it Aiden Goat? Is that the best? That's the best I got. I think it is what it is. What up, Nick? How's it going? No retreat. Uh, hi, Mr. Conqueror. Hey, um, how you doing? Gonna try to not hit you right now, but it might be a little close. Oh, he went forward. <laughs> Thanks. Good, good. Glad. Glad you did the thing. All right, so we're not up against the worst things in the world. And I think the carrier spawns on the other side, but no, it's probably spawned on our side. It probably spawned on our side because our carrier's on the other side. So they like to spawn the carriers away from one another. I don't know why that is, but they do. Of course, we're spotted already. Oh, yes. Oh, as soon as I fire my gun, the Dimitri gets spotted. First time, I, I get hit with one shell from the Dimitri Donskoy immediately set on fire. They're in a division too, right? No? No, we just have two of them, so they're not in the division. The main and the Frederick de Grosser are in the division. Go for that bow side plating here. Didn't make it through. That's unfortunate. At this angle, he shouldn't be getting through us. But honestly, it's the freaking carrier that's going to be the problem for me at the moment. This guy backing up. Kind of seems like he doesn't know what he wants to do at the moment. So we'll just blap his superstructure for now. Turn in. Get angled a little bit. Okay. Dimitri Donskoy has decided that he wants to die, apparently. I might have aimed at a little high, but who knows. That actually looks pretty good. I'm going to assume he has Kuchizov torpedoes or whatever, so it's like 8 kilometers. So we should be okay here. He hits the, the very bow of my ship with one shell and gets another fire. Uh-oh. We're about to find out. Apparently he has longer than 8 kilometer torpedoes. Those are tight. Instantly back on fire because he has a hundred and sixty percent chance to set fires And of course we can't just kill him I'm waiting for the double fire now Did this guy actually hit him Okay, he did we're gonna have to use one of our heels and we didn't actually get a double fire against us, so that's huge.
That's huge. And we get rid of that DPM, so. Aim high for superstructure. Got a couple hits in there. Be nice if this stupid fire would burn out so that we wouldn't be spotted right now. Oh yeah, I forgot this thing has a stupid freaking uh, concealment rating for some reason. Nobody knows why the concealment of this thing is so bad, but it is. It is awful. It's worse than the Yamatos. And of course, this guy at 18 kilometers is shooting me because there's nobody else on my team, right? Well, we're going to have to back off let somebody else on our team take a hit here. So we're going to go guns quiet for a moment. Give our guns a chance to rotate because the center gun, for whatever reason, can't rotate 360 degrees, even though it should fully be capable of rotating 360 degrees. I think the next shot will probably be at the mine or the main. And use our. I mean, we're still detected forever. Notice those guys are still shooting us. Like there's guys between me and them, but they they don't shoot them. They shoot me. Alright, we're gonna start trying to turn back around. We should be disappearing again. There we go. This should allow us to make our turn. And we should have a decent crossfire set up if the if he's gonna bow tank these guys. Just hold our fire. No need to go crazy. He kills our Baltimore. Okay, he's now in range to spot us, so we take that shot. And we're back into a bow tanking position. And we're in a perfect position to counter his push because he can't bow tank them and me. So if he bow tanks me, he's getting punched by them. He is angled relatively well though, so I'll give him that. But we are going to go for that superstructure again. There it is. Patience and, uh, you know, keeping yourself alive comes in handy. Aim high. That's a terrible dispersion. His secondaries are kicking off. Okay, he did turn out. He got blapped by our teammate. We take those hits all day, no problem. And we get to finish him off with a shot to the superstructure. Down he goes. All right, let's grab the base. Get the guns rotating to the left. I don't know what that battleship in the back is doing, but he's kind of taking himself out of the fight for quite a while now. Because it'll take him a while to get 
caught back up to me. I'll have this base capped and moved on to the next side. Hopefully, our, it looks like our cruiser is going to jump in the middle. So that's mines. So that's big. That'll take away their points that they're gaining. And then we get this base cap. That means we're gaining points on them. Their DD is already dead. Our guys on the other side of the map, though, have done a pretty good job of holding. Just hold. We will catch up to you eventually. Just stay alive and do what you got to do. Stop firing your guns, dude. Let yourself get that base cap. Also, if that's Dimitri, it's got to be the Dimitri, right? It has to be. Yeah, so that's Dimitri Donskoy out there in the open water. We don't actually want to fight that. Not, not currently, anyway. So we may end up... <sighs> so this is the decision that I have to make. Okay, I'm going to try to turn this way and go straight across and then get shots on the battleship hopefully our mains is dead he's this is why you don't do this this is why you don't do this all he has to do is sit there and t well he did kill the roma so there's that but all he has to do is sit there and freaking capture the base there's no way he gets spotted but now he's gotten himself killed for no reason but we got a shot out on the M montana as he comes around the island so he's not going to see that coming we get the reset he's also dodged the torpedoes and mains, oh, good lord, he just took a hit from whatever's on that other side. We got a shot out. That should be the end of the Montana. We got the base cap. Izumo finished him off first, so there's that. Still have the Dimitri Donskoy and their carrier to worry about. Though I haven't seen their carrier doing anything. I haven't seen planes up or anything. So I don't know if he DC'd or what. We're going to go in here and grab this center cap. And we're not going to fire our guns so that we get this cap and secure the win. Because that Dimitri at range could easily burn us down in no time flat. You get them up close, they're not as dangerous, but at distance, it's a pain in the butt to even hit them. Holy crap! I completely missed this. Cutting the caboose, coming in with the 50-pound bomb for sunscreen and aloe vera gel. Thank you so much, my dude. Good lord. He just completely caught me off guard with that. I didn't even see it. And Mike Salerno coming in, re-upping his membership for 10 months. Thank you so much, my dude. Thank you. But cutting the caboose, coming in, dropping bombs. Good Lord. Good Lord. Uh, WTF, I hate to break it to you, but we did a poll at the beginning of the stream for what tier we would be playing, and it was decided tier 8 is the, is the tier that we are going to be playing today in the stream. So gonna be another tier eight one trying to tempt me to a sponsorship uh-oh did you message me on oh here we go we're almost in range too did you message me again on uh is he gonna beach hold that thought on gmail i'm assuming Wait for it. Oh my god. How do they get away with it? How do one half of the shells fall short, the other half go high, when the guy literally is sitting stationary in the water? That's incredibly frustrating. All right, we got 12 seconds to get this cap. He got, dude, our accuracy is so bad. We got the base cap, though. That's two solo base caps in a battleship. Immediately set on fire by the turret. We're going to get all of our guns to bear for this guy. Oh, 
Hopefully the guy behind us can actually hit a shot. I think we got him. I think we got him, boys. There we go. Back-to-back -back 100k games to start the stream. He doesn't get a, a fire to, to get. It's, it's amazing, actually, but. Yo, Muse is in the chat as well. Thank you for dropping in. Dark One, I see you. Dwayne Johnson, Brian. Memes is in the chat. Noriko. Nick, I see you as well. Yeah, I run Tube Spanner, but I love your vids, so no strings. Well, I appreciate that so much. Yeah, just a nice... It was it was a, a win that we had to do everything correctly in. We got ourselves into trouble early on. We managed to survive. We managed to disengage, which is something I've been working on. Because you guys know I'm not a big into the whole not firing my guns and disengaging part of things. But we did manage to disengage. We ended up with four kills, carried the team to a win, almost 3k base. Like, it, you love to see it. Getting two solo caps and a uh, battleship to win the game for your team is a big deal. So, uh, yeah. Did what we had to do. All right. On to the FDG. Let's go. What up, Sensei? How's it going? Can I play Des Moines? Uh, unfortunately, Sean, we can't. We are just running the uh, tier eights today because that's what we uh, asked at the beginning of the chat or beginning of the stream. So, uh, unfortunately, not. Appreciate that, Bloodlines. Star Lord, how's it going? Stormbreaker is that as well. Yeah, hopefully everything goes well with your move. I know what it's. I know moving sucks, but once you get moved into a new place, there's always some like hope that comes with it you know you get to a new place a new area maybe get away from all the old crap that you've been going through it's it's nice it really is so hopefully everything goes well for your move tj what up war daddy how's it going levi the wolf uh poo poo head <laughs> i mean izumo is literally just it's an Amagi with a different configuration. It's got kind of a Yamato hull, but not quite a whole Yamato hull. So you don't get all of the armor that the Yamato has, but it's got decent enough armor. Um, and it definitely doesn't have the 18-inch guns. But it's not a bad ship. I don't hate the Ismo, but it is what I consider the worst of the new Tier 8 battleships. Also, Black is dropping us a smoke screen, which is... A nice sentiment, even though that goes out the window the moment I pull the trigger. Especially on a small map. Oh, hello, sunshine. Didn't quite get our guns off in time, but still hit his superstructure a little bit. He's firing HE out of a champagne. What? Our black has gotten his butt kicked by the uh, destroyer that was there. We've got a cruiser shooting over the island. Not gonna lie, it is quite funny to see people shooting HE out of a champagne. Oh, and now he's just chosen death. Alright. Go back to port, champagne. Oh my god, that was the worst dispersion on the planet. Like, if I make that turn into champagne, I'm a dead man, no matter who shoots at me, but 
He got really fortunate that I got the worst dispersion on the planet. What the hell was that, HE? What is out there? A buff it's gotta be the buffalo. Has to be the buffalo. That buffalo just hit me for like 10k with HE. Like, come on. Not gonna lie, if that would have caused a fire, it'd been slightly salty. Okay, so Black has survived, even though he's basically useless for the rest of the match, except for long-range torpedoes. Yeah, there's the buffalo. He might be trying to sell out to help his, his buddy here in the cap. I can't believe that he was able to hit us in that position. Like, he's right up against the island. There's no way he lobs that island to hit us. So I don't know if he was shooting us on his way to that position, or what. But they've got two caps. We have the one that we spawned with. I'm trying to get out here on this edge as quickly as possible so that I can help with this buffalo. We do have an Alaska here as well. Okay, they do have backup over here. They got two battleships. One of them's hurting. But we should have a shot at the Buffalo anytime. Ah, uh, they got all their battleships coming this way. Nice. Well, we're spotted now. More battleships spamming HE. Interesting choice. Mark him as a target so that if I do get in range of these battleships that it keeps shooting at him instead of them. dark okay, we got a main here that we need to try to get rid of so we'll switch targets to him with secondaries our destroyer has just died we're gonna go superstructure here And pop another heal. If we can get some fires with our secondaries, it'd be great. Okay, down goes the front main. He had all the health, so that was pretty cool. Go for his superstructure again. He goes down. He's got a plane up, which is rather unfortunate. Okay, Gross of Kerr first goes down, that leaves the Conqueror and the Destroyer. We should have another heal coming up, our last heal. Now 
Never mind. Crossfires, boys. They work. They do work. All stations, proceed to capture that area. All right, so their destroyers in Charlie. We're gonna grab Bravo, and then uh, might as well switch to HE. I know why we're not hitting. I remember. We swapped over to the 406s, didn't we? If I remember correctly, last stream we struck. We swapped over to the 406s. Suska again coming in with another two euros. Try Makarov on Soyuz. You maybe won't regret it. You maybe won't regret it. I like that. I don't know who's behind me, but LT maybe. Got LT in the chat. This one wasn't about us. We, we took the hits when we needed to, but uh, the team really come through with the crossfires. These guys over here. Ah, what an LT shooting at me. It was somebody else. Yami. This would be one of those times where this guy should have perceptive or twisting track on, so we should be able to find the uh, enemy destroyer pretty easily, but he probably isn't because nobody ever runs those perks for whatever reason in their destroyers, so they never have any idea where the destroyer is hiding. Unser Sieg ist in Sicht. Stream down? No, stream's fine. Gefecht ended in five minutes. Uh, I personally haven't had an option to destroy. Most of the Republics I've seen have just been sailing around broadside, so I'd rather shoot at their Citadel than shoot at their turrets. But, uh... But no, I haven't really shot any turrets off yet. I'm spotted. Okay. Watch him get another fire here. Also, it's interesting that he's firing his guns at me in open water and he's still able to stay undetected. So he's literally sailing right, he's sailing away from me, and he's right on the edge of his detection range so that he can get at shells to hit me, but he can't be spotted. So, dude knows what he's doing, but it's just unfortunate that our destroyer had no fucking clue because he's not running twist and tractor perceptive. Again, I don't understand why destroyer players do that. Why, why nerf yourself? That makes no fucking sense. But yeah, we... We definitely prefer the fucking 420s. I don't care what anybody says. The 406s ain't worth it. You just don't hit anything. You don't hit them hard. 
All right, Republic. Let's go. What up, Duck Life? How's it going? Jankonomics 1. I'm assuming an, an alt count for Jank. What up? Jacka in the chat. What up? Actimel as well. G Man. What's up, man? I don't know what you're talking about there, uh, Dwayne, but uh, just try to keep it within reason. Let's not get on to off-subject shit like that. Where are you, Aaron? Is in the chat. What up, my dude? Kevin Wilson. How's it going? Lances as well. Alejandro. DeathX. I see you guys. Darth Skywalker, there you go. Nugget. Wings Wendy. Lyrics to a song. Alright. Like I said, I don't get to see everything in context, so keep that in mind. Like if I if I glance over to chat and I see something I I don't have time to go through and read everything that you've typed up to that point, so keep it in mind. 343 people watching, 138 likes. If you guys like the stream so far, punch that like button for me. It does help. Appreciate you. What up, Akitas? How's it going? Ryan, I see you as well. Stupid Korean, how's it going? Darius, Witted Axe. Sean Henley. Zach Britt, Moral Theme. Jacob, Ace Pilot. Christopher, you're glad to see your second stream. I appreciate that, my dude. Hope you enjoy. Andrew, what up? You punched the like button too hard, you broke your mouse. That do be like that sometimes. It do be like that. Aztec Chief, what up? Gently tap the like button on your device. <laughs> no, we don't gently tap nothing around here. We punch it. Pow! Just like that. Ah, oh, God, I'm so sore. At least this is helping me, like, not be laying down. Because, honestly, it sucks to lay down right now. My entire body is covered in sunburn. So, laying down sucks. Oh, boy. 3v3 coming. Oh, boy. No idea. Like, that would be really cool if, like, that's its own little mode. Like, have, like, a 3v3 playlist or something where you get a division together. You go division versus division, just one or one team versus one team. That would be a lot of fun. I think, anyway. Of course, I wouldn't have anybody to play with because nobody wants to play with Spartan. Too angry, apparently. Even though they're just as angry as I am most of the time. I don't have any friends. Help. We got black and a Yugamo. Okay. All our battleships are going the other direction. So I am the only battleship on this side of the map. I got to keep that in mind. Can't be doing anything stupid. I'm going to have to hold this side down with the help of these two destroyers. Okay, we got a Flander. We got a Yugamo. I like how that literally said I could shoot that, but then it couldn't. This could be a problem. I'm going broadside to this guy. Between these two, they should be able to murder that Yugamo. Let's be real. too high and he disappears 
Okay, so we've got the majority of the enemy team on this side of the map. And we're the only battleship. So, got to be careful here. Of course, he disappears. Don't have a chance. Aim a little lower here, see if we can catch him. There we go. That was a better hit. Turned out. And of course... We're running out of teammates on this side of the map. We only had three of us to begin with, and our friggin' destroyers are getting themselves killed. Let's go ahead and hit that... Hit that... Speed up button. We ain't about this life. They did lose their black. But, yeah. I'm not liking our odds on this side of the map, all of a sudden. Okay, we got rid of him. That's their T there's that's their torp boat. We ain't gotta worry about him anymore. Come on, Yugamo. Stay alive, brother man. I need you alive. That looks good on the Balti. We all know how that works out. It looks good, but doesn't do crap. Our Flanders hell-bent on staying broadside, so we'll take advantage of that while we can. I do have to worry about that. Main could be a problem. Now we... Balti's gonna start burning me down. Get angled away here. Hopefully, we can negate some of the damage. ZF6 is firing on us. And he gets the second fire. Good hit on the main. We're just trying to dodge what we can and hold on for as long as we can because our team is kind of taking forever to win that side. I'm getting some fortunate RNG from the enemies. And our Yugamo's at least trying to do his thing. So he's taking a little bit of the fight off of us for the moment. Can't hit the destroyer. Uh, this could hurt though. Stayed angled a little too long. We got one hit. We need our, our ships on that right side over there at A to win that side and start helping. They've taken way too long to get to this point. angled so we should be fine here Look at this angle he's giving me now. He's completely disrespecting my Republic's ability to punch him. 
That could be a problem for him. That's why you don't disrespect the freaking Republic, man. I'm telling you, you don't disrespect the Republic. It will make you pay. There's a reason this thing's a tier 10 on PC. If you don't disrespect this ship, it will ruin you. Okay, he's not giving me much. So we'll switch back to him. Hopefully we caught him off guard. Beautiful hit. Alright, let's go ahead and use our last heal. Balti's getting close, so we're going to have to uh, contend with that shortly. And he does get the fire, unfortunately. The closer Balti gets, the more likely I am to dev strike him. Just putting that out there as well. Alright, we are going to have to do something about this Balti. He's actually the one doing the most damage to me currently. Alright, we gotta put that up. Hopefully we survive this hit. I'm trying to not turn into it. And we're dead. I think we're actually dead before we get loaded here. Unless we get lucky. Problem resolu, chef. Nope. That's unfortunate. We did everything we could on our side of the map. We needed our teammates to come back across and actually help. And they were just taking their time doing it. I don't know why they're taking so long to push. But we tried. We got rid of the main. We uh, helped weaken the destroyers. Um, this should be a win, but our team's probably throwing this because they can't get rid of one f freaking battleship. So, you'll love to see it. It's probably our first loss of the game, or of the day. Probably our first loss. They just, they took too long. They needed to push... They had the advantage. They needed to push the advantage. They didn't do it. So you're saying to use Makarov. Who is Makarov? See the general commander? Yeah, so this is the general commander. Why would I want to use this on my freaking battleship? I mean, you do get extra consumables. That That's not a bad idea. Uh, see, that's cruisers. So that doesn't do us any good. So we would have to go with piercer, full speed or intuitive. But again, that's this all st this is I can't use this as a battleship. Like this doesn't do me any good. I guess I detected torpedoes at further out, but like this only changes maximum cruiser speed. I guess it does reduce rudder shift. It doesn't say only for cruisers, but like if I had to go with this, I guess I would go with this because it gives me the direction of the, in like I don't have sonar or radar, but it gives me the direction of the closest enemy ship. So maybe that's a thing. Or unless you're going for a faster rudder shift. We'll have to check that one out. Uh, sponge, incoming damage for cruisers again. Like this is, this is all cruiser stuff. Maximum movement speed, you could use that, I guess. And then again, rudder shift and sonar. So we go with that, 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 and then let's see what the... Uh, See, rudder shift's currently 11.3. And if we put this on... 
does it increase or does it decrease our rudership? It does. It goes to 10.1. Okay. So, as expected, anything, even if it's technically a cruiser perk, if it doesn't say cruiser incoming splash damage, then technically this would be a better splash or uh, reduced splash damage incoming. So, that might be something that we look into. Even though we wouldn't get the buff to the traverse of the guns. Because you don't really need the extra AP penetration on a Russian battleship. This would make us a little bit more tanky in terms of incoming HE. Let's go to 14 at least. And then we'll go... Uh, who would be good for our battleships? I mean, Azure Lane Sharn Horse seems like a good idea because of obvious reasons. And then um, Von Essen. So Sharnhorst and Von Essen. Which I believe is Russian. Alright. So we'll try it with this build. What does that give us in terms of damage controls now? So you still only get three. So I don't see how this is going to be any better. Even, like, you get heals. You get four four damage controls and three heals. Because you get to run fully packed. But you don't get the skills that are on the battleship commanders for increasing your repair party charges or anything like that. You know what I mean? So that's why I didn't think this is... I don't, I don't see how this is going to help us, to be honest. But I'll do it because you donated and we'll try it. Learning to fish coming in with a $10 Australian. Hi, Spartan and chat. What up, learning? Appreciate you dropping in. Thanks for the super chat, my dude. Kadrab and Cunningham as an inspiration. Ever play Hell Let Loose? No, I haven't. I've heard it's really good, though. It just seems more like those, like, uh... It's kind of like a battlefield style game and i suck at those sorts of games like i like the call of duty aspect the like 6v6 uh smaller maps more more crazy going on but when it comes to like giant teams on giant maps i just get lost and get myself into a whole bunch of trouble and it just becomes a frustrating spawn kill nightmare so like i just never been into those sorts of games Philip R. says, Spartan, I pre-ordered FIFA 23. Nice, if you're into the whole football or soccer. Tonight, RT, what up? It is not Battlefield. What a, it's a lot like Battlefield. I didn't say it is Battlefield. I said it's a lot like Battlefield. Where they have giant maps, big teams. NL Tryhard. Hola, amigo. Hola. Appreciate you, my dude. Am I going to buy the Bureau Project for the Colbert? No, I am not. I refuse. I'm not going to spend steel that has taken me two years to grind to buy a Bureau Project that they're going to release for either... Yeah, we're already being targeted. Uh, for either Global XP or just a normal Bureau Project in the future. It, it doesn't make any freaking sense. So, no, I'm not. I'm not going through that. Also, we don't have the most range with this build either. So, something to keep in mind. Take a shot at the Kaaba. We got two full pins. He shoots one salvo, four guns, insta-fire. Do you see what I mean about fires in this game? Like, it makes no sense. They literally make zero sense at all. Take it on the belt. Causes a flood. I have the worst RNG on the planet, guys. You guys think I joke about this stuff. 
We took the only we took our first airdrop torpedo right on the belt and we got a flood against us immediately. And remember, we only have four four of those charges, so we had to burn it. Had to. Yeah, I don't care if he's running uh, perk to increase his fire chance. What is his maximum fire chance? 15%, if that. Like, a 15% chance to set fire. He fires four shells at me and gets a fire on the first shell. Hello, Turpets. That's the other thing. These things don't hit that hard. Like, that was a full broadside at 7.6 kilometers. We did 10k damage. Oh, skip bombs. Another fire. fall short. Okay, who's this? Conqueror and a Stalingrad. Okay. Well, we've got this base kept, so we might as well start moving to potentially take the middle. Who do we got? Vimar? Here comes some more torpedoes. He's going to hit multiple torpedoes this time. Knocks out my steering. Just every time I take a hit, something breaks, something good. Uh, it's a fire, it's a flood, it's everything. Like, it's just, there's never a chance where I get hit and nothing happens. Like, I can't just take the damage from it. It's got to break something. That's why I hate these limited damage controls. So if I didn't fix that steering right there, I go straight into this island broadside in front of a tarp. It's, it's not going to go well for me. Here comes the skip bombs. Is he going to double fire me this time? No fire, actually. Holy crap. Hello, Stalingrad. Broadside of a fucking supercruiser, and I get nothing but, but nothing. I literally get nothing out of it. I don't know what the range of this freaking Kava's torpedoes are, but they gotta run out. Got more torpedoes coming. We're just gonna try to outrun these. I mean, you would think it would be a fucking dev strike if I shoot the broadside of a Stalingrad at this kind of range, but it's just not. And now this guy's gonna kill me. Fucking waste of time. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be using that build again. It doesn't make any sense. 
we got like literally no teammates so that didn't help but this just doesn't that doesn't make any sense to run that commander like at all like i don't understand the point of the commander to be honest but yeah literally makes no sense if you're gonna run a commander i would recommend the uh lev Goller or the tank build i think it's tank build Mik mikhail kadrov so that's just my personal opinion I don't see that we gained anything for running that build other than rudder shift, but yeah. Not my favorite. Let's go back to Republic. Hey, I'm willing to try. Like, I, you know, people want to send me a build to try out. I'll try it, but I just don't see what you're gaining in that I, other than rudder shift. And rudder shift on a battleship is like polishing a fucking turd. Like, unless you can get it to, like... The problem is, no matter how low you get your rudder shift, it's not going to help in the, like, full turns. It only helps in short turns. And how many times are you actually making short turns in a battleship? Not very often. Usually you're making full turns one way or another. And you're not really going to speed up your, your like, um, turning circle. You're only speeding up your ability to start the turn. That's it. First. Yeah, that was that was something inspired by Hipper, but no, it just again like the 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 rudder shift's great for for cruisers because you're constantly having to you know be in open water and trying to dodge and stuff uh personally i don't prefer those kinds of builds um i know they work but generally speaking you have to rely on teammates to actually do important things like capture bases and stuff so again the limited effectiveness of them if you're staying at range the entire game you're probably doing yourself a disservice yep not able to love that and we get spotted and this yami is going to stop right here why? Why is this what you're doing with your life? This guy turns to run away, full on hipper mode. We got Summers. Somebody hit us. Oh, it was a Yami. That's fun. If he stays sailing in a straight line and eats that, I'm going to laugh. Okay, he took a little bit. And our Kagero's dead. See, he survived a torpedo. Why is it that I'm the only fucking... He ate two of them. Of course he did. Why am I the only fucking destroyer that ever accidentally eats a torpedo with a dev strike every fucking time? Like, I'm the only person in a destroyer that I ever see that takes a single torpedo and dies from full health every time. No matter where the torpedo impacts. I see everybody else take them and they just fucking survive every fucking time. And then they end up eating a second torpedo and dying. Wow, we're off to a great start. Both of our fucking destroyers get torped to death or killed immediately. So, fantastic job by those two geniuses. It's gonna, we're off to a great start. Great start. You'll love to see it. My Yami's backtrack into the back of the map because that's what you do in a Yami. To lose both of our destroyers in under three minutes is hilarious. And the Yami's going to come over here to support this side, too, because he has nothing else to worry about. This Ochakov may have just made a huge fucking mistake. If I can catch up to him in time. I know I'm located by either him or the fucking destroyer or both.
down goes. Dude, half our team is dead in under four minutes. Like, how am I supposed to come back from this? We've lost half our team already. Four minutes. And look at that. I fucking hit him with 17 inch guns at this range and I get one ricochet and two fucking overpins. He's angled as much as he could possibly be fucking angled right now. And he double fires me. We can't even Citadel of fucking Iowa at this range. Apparently. And the game's over. Mercy roll inside five minutes. What a fucking team. Let me guess. I'm the bad guy because I say, what a fucking team. Look, Spartan, you didn't do anything, man. What? This fucking game didn't last longer than five minutes. How the fuck are you supposed to do anything if you're your entire fucking team dies in five minutes? Please explain to me how I can do better than 32k in that short amount of time when I literally just got to end end of my first engagement. Like, fucking stupid. And I lose 80k because of that bullshit. Like, just fucking take all of these fuckers that died in the first three minutes of the fucking match. Take all of them, remove their ability to play high tiers for a week, make them go back to play tier two and three until they learn the basics of the game and then come back. It's fucking obnoxious. So annoying. Suska, thank you for the two euros, my dude. Here you go for at least trying, right? I try. I try. But God, I mean, there's nothing you can do in those situations. The fucking entire game is over. They mercy rolled our team in four fucking minutes. There's nothing you can do. I don't care how good you are. I don't care if you're the fucking greatest player ever. In four minutes, your team gets mercy rolled. You ain't doing shit. So, there's nothing you can do. Shima, Yama, Yama, Conqueror. Do we have a team this time? Will they actually show up and not just die? Who knows? These are the questions. Will our team survive four minutes? I know it's a difficult ask. Boost the motor activated. This guy's sailing behind this island, so you can't actually see anything. This guy's sailing behind this island, so you can't see anything. Philip. Good opening salvo. Kutuzov took a shot at us. We changed direction, so we'll see if we actually take any of these. Doesn't look like it. Okay, 
Okay, one Yami spotted on our side. Oh my god, Philip, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Hey, we lost our lightning already. Woo! He survived about as long as our entire team did in the last one, but at least the team, the enemy team lost the destroyer already too, so. Poor Philip over there. F's in chat for Philip. <laughs> Somebody put F's in chat for Philip. Poor guy. I know he's not dead yet, but if he keeps sailing broad to me, he's going to be. Oh, he disappears. Just as we're about to get into a position to shoot him. I need support. You need support. How about you get in a position where you can actually see something and we'll give you support. Okay, we did get spotted here, which is slightly terrifying with the Yami and the main looking at us. So we're going to turn in. All stations, concentrate fire on F's in chat for... There we go. There we got the F's. We got it. Oh, both their Yamatos are coming over here. That's fun. Okay. Might as well start working the guns to the other side. Their Yami got touched, so there's at least that. There's that smoke firing penalty coming against us. Guy's 15 kilometers away, still able to spot me firing through the smoke. This guy's gonna have to turn here. I don't know, he's not really... This guy's turning away. This guy's cut back inside, so I can't actually do anything about him. Looks like you're the only option I have. Preston, uh, of course. How many people have to stream snipe every time that you guys... Well, at least we touched him. There's all there's so many people that jump in here and get into games with me when I'm streaming. We know their destroyer's right here. We know it's a Shima. I don't want to give him like too much of an angle because he's gonna ah, there it is. Ah, wait. Because he's gonna do that to me. But I can't stay sailing towards that smoke screen either, because we will be getting torpedoed. What do you think? Is this guy dumb enough to like come around the corner and get deleted? We haven't done that for a, a couple of minutes here. What do you think? Contestant number one. Is he dumb enough to do what he, exactly what I want him to do, which is chase me around this corner and get removed? Goodbye. Oh my god, we only got two citadels with that. Alright, we're dead. Go forward! Oh, we're so dead here. 
Oh, god dang it. How did we not kill him? Also, how does the fucking Conqueror lob the island and hit me? Like, really? The Conqueror's got that kind of fucking drop? That dude literally hit me like a fucking light cruiser. How did we not kill that man? That should have been a death strike. I mean, we still did 170k. It's not like we weren't doing our job. We just don't have any support because our team's so far spread out. Like, their entire team is against us over here, and our team's still over here on the, the other side of the map going, ah, we might make it over there someday. They ain't even grabbed the B-cap yet. And now Mains is just losing all of his fucking hit points. finally decided to hit something from the other side of the map. Oh, don't, for, don't forget about the 105,000 hit points our GK has that hasn't used any of yet. Alright. I, I still have no idea. Like, it said we cleared the shot, we put the shot right where it needed to be, and we only get two citadels. It makes no sense. No sense. Alright, let's go back to FDG, but we're running the 420s this time. Oh, wait. Make sure we're running the 420s. Okay, we are. Yeah. FDG 420s. Let's go. Like, I don't care that he hasn't, like, gotten right up in there and died. Like, that that's not what I'm worried about. It's just the fact that he has 105,000 hit points. He has not used a single one of them yet. So, like, he should be at least getting shot at at some point during a match. But everybody on the uh, entire lobby came over to my side of the map. I know, big, big surprise, right? So, it's always a big surprise when the entire lobby comes to my side of the map. But, again... I went for the home run. I didn't get it because I either rushed the shot or just got fucked by RNG. I don't know how. We we fire eight shells into the broadside of a Yami at point blank. It should be death, but the game said nope. And I, I don't even say that they're they're stream sniping in the sense that they're they're watching the stream and trying to gain an advantage that way that's not what i'm talking about when i say stream sniping i just mean in a in a a normal sense i know the people's names because i see them in chat and i see them in games repeatedly while i'm streaming i don't see these people when i'm not streaming only when i'm streaming so that's why i always say that like i'm not i'm not saying that you're using the stream to gain an unfair advantage or anything like that but it is pretty funny that when i'm streaming i get entire lobbies of people coming after me which doesn't happen when I'm not streaming. Okay, so we got the FDG, we got the Balti. I didn't see what their third battleship was, or their third ship was. I know it's a battleship. Oh, it's an Amagi. That's cute. It's a quarter speed Amagi who's paying attention to my shells coming over the island even though I wasn't spotted. That's fantastic. Uh, always end up with the good players on, on the enemy team. Like, they actually pay attention to shit. My teams don't ever pay attention to anything. Fire 
This guy is just sailing broadside in his FDG. He's lost all of his hit points already. Love to see it. Two and a half minutes into the match. You're in a damn destroyer. Destroy. And he leaves the cap. Okay. So we're giving up two caps, three caps. Oh, my entire team's just giving up the entire map. That checks out. It's what you do, right? You just run away and let the enemy cap all the bases and see what happens. If I'm going to get anything out of this, I'm going to have to push these guys because my team's not going to do anything. My FDG's already running away. My destroyer's just sitting over here doing what destroyers do, which is nothing. So we're going to have to make something happen here. Because they've already captured the other two bases and they're working on capturing this one. This guy's bow tanking me. Actually, might be one of those situations where after this shot, I go to HE. Fire. Because he's going to be in range to smack with HE anyway. And we should be able to burn him down pretty quick. Didn't get the fire, and he just punished me. Ah, that's, that's why we should just have AP loaded at all times. It was unnecessary damage to take right there. I think we got him double fired right now. to get this ship turned around get back in there and grab this base our team's dropping like flies das gegnerische team hat die führung übernommen i think i'm going to keep reversing here cuz i can help with this balti Down goes our Suja. Unbelievable. You, you cannot make up just how fucking satisfying it is to watch your rounds go everywhere but the target. 
You can't make it up. It's so satisfying to watch those shells just split apart so perfectly and avoid hitting the ship that you're shooting at. It's just so good. Well, don't worry. It's just three versus five now. This Balti's not going to shoot at me. Enemy has the points lead. They have the ship's lead. They got a destroyer out on top of our other battleship and our destroyer. So hopefully that destroyer dies here, but he's probably going to survive. He's going to... Well, never mind. He died. Did he kill our battleship, though? Seems to be some hard turns going on. Why is Spartan such a drama queen? I don't know. Why are you such a freaking troll in chat? If you show up just to say something negative, you're going to get muted or you're going to get just hidden from the channel. Like, it's, there's no need for that shit in chat. So, later, dude. Just think. He had to, sur he had to subscribe... Just to say that, so that he got hidden from the channel. Well done. <laughs> and the best part is, what is it, what have I said that, that could possibly be drama queen-esque? What? Oh, you gotta love how satisfying it is watching your shells miss the ship completely. Guy's not doing anything. He doesn't even see them coming. Shells just avoid him. Out of all the out of all of the shit that I've said in in streams, like this has been a pretty tame stream so far. So, you don't like it? There are plenty of other channels to watch. Nobody forces you to be here. Hey, it's Philip again, and again he's broadside. Well, now he's going broadside to my teammate at point blank so that he goes bow into me across the map. Interesting. Let's see if that works out for him. Also, their Baltimore made it all the way over to the other side of the map before I could get to him. Okay, down goes their battleship. If I can take the majority of this guy's health, if not kill him, I would be pretty happy with that. I mean, I could just ram him and kill him that way, but that's not going to help us in the grand scheme of things. He does seem to be going for the uh, the drive-by, so we're going to keep ourselves angled as best we can. And the game's over. Whew, you gotta love it. We citadeled him, but still, I mean, if you, your team doesn't show up to the fight, there's not a whole lot you can do to carry a team. You try. 130k. 
There you go, boys. Go main. A lot of legendaries in this one. But we got Vegemite on our side. I feel like we got okay. We're going to be okay. Somebody else is on the other team. See, Jono knows what I'm talking about. What up, Jono? What up, Blazer? God. You don't get that opportunity very often. Let's hope I capitalize on it. Yep, yeah, you get nothing out of it. Because at the end of the day, it's a Yami. He turns five degrees. And then he just takes all of your hit points. Because that's, that's Yami. Yami has all the armor and all of the bullshit to fucking slap you. Both their Des Moines are over here. That's fun. Down goes one. Problem solved, sir. Off to a great start. Are they in a division by chance? Nope. Just random guys and he double fires me, of course. Of course he double fires me with a single shot that was like four shells. We're gonna be able to heal here a little bit, maybe. It might keep us alive between that and maybe getting close enough for Will to rebuild if this guy survives long enough to give me Will to rebuild, which doesn't look, yep, doesn't look like it's gonna happen. This guy's lost all of his hit points by seeing, being broadside to both those Yamis for this whole time. Enemy Aim high for superstructure since he's turning towards us. Yami shot at us from 20 kilometers and has the most accurate shots I've ever seen. Like, it must be nice to have a Yami that's that accurate. Good lord, man. That dude hit me twice hard. First shot, I give him because I was broadside. I was turning out, trying to get away from it. But yeah, not a good showing right there. That's the beauty of the Yamato, man. It's so easy to play. 
you just fucking point and click and everything gets obliterated at least when when it's a player that just gets the best rng of his life every time Whew. Dude, Yami is so broken still. I don't care what anybody says. Like, that ship is so fucking OP. It's so stupid. It has the ability to overmatch. And it has most armor in the game, it seems like. Because at any fucking angle whatsoever, your shells do nothing. Plus, on top of that, it doesn't have a large superstructure. So you don't milk its superstructure for 40k like you can any of the other big tier battleships. Like, Yami is busted. But apparently, the only one that gets Yami that can't fucking hit anything is me. Because everybody else that I go up against, they get the railgun Yami that used to be. Hey, if you guys never played the, the Yami before the nerf, you guys don't know what you missed. Yami before the nerf was fucking ridiculous. Now, it's at least sometimes it misses. Dude, they don't even have to sit in the back. Like, Yami's just as comfortable brawling. The only thing it has to really worry about is if somebody gets his fucking broadside. And the only way they get your broadside is if you're an idiot in a fucking Yami. The only thing that counters a Yami is a destroyer or a fucking other Yami. That's it. Like, other than that, you have to work your ass off to get a good position and fuck over a Yami. That is it. This guy's already turning to run away. He's in a French battleship. There's a joke to be had there. We gotta look at a broadside. Look at that. Horizontal dispersion. This should be beautiful. Nothing. Four overpins on a Montana. He's gonna probably disappear before we get into a position to actually shoot him here. the hell happened to those it's a carrier game and their carrier is going straight for our destroyer this guy's still going as far away from the fight as possible he's like no i'm out i ain't, I ain't dealing with this I'm just gonna run away in my flounder i'm guessing that they spawned with a with the carrier because usually there's three people that spawn over here and we've seen two of them the third one hasn't been spotted yet look at him he's literally going to go do the t-bowl shuffle on the edge of the fucking map in a battleship this early in the match there we got a citadel on him well, if he wasn't about to do the T-Bull shuffle before, he sure should be now. And that checks out. I mean, that's exactly the kind of salvo I would expect from somebody going all the way to the back of the map to hide at the beginning of the match in a battleship. H-E. Oh, there's the third person that spawned with him. That also checks out. Amagi shoots me from 20 kilometers away over the top of a fucking island. Cover 
resolution. You want to play this game, Montana? I'd suggest you stop being broadside. That's an island, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. It's a big ass island. Is he actually clearing the island? Sure looked like he's about to run into that shit. Ah, somebody shot him, that's nice. I thought I was alone on this team for a little while there. Sure seem like I'm fucking alone, considering I'm the only one getting shot at, and I'm the only one shooting anything. Boost des moteurs désactivé. Okay. Hey, look, the Amagi's coming back. Is he about to do the thing? Hey, he's, he's doing the thing, boys. Look at this. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. Mr. Grudge. Goodbye. Oh my god, we didn't hit him. I think we're dead here, boys. What the hell kind of drop was that? Hey, we got our clear sky, though. Fletcher's getting himself killed. Checks out. Technically, all we have to do is survive and hold this cap. All stations, reporting the position of a strategic target.
Will to rebuild is active. Try to get as much hit points as possible. I don't know if I can lob this with the front gun or not. Yep, sure can. I really hope our destroyer doesn't run. I just, I, I need you to stay here. I don't want you to run away. Like, that kind of defeats the purpose of abusing will to rebuild. I want infinite health. We got him to hit the island. I mean, he got us up to 15k. So, like, it's not, it's not the worst. We can live with that. The buffalo's dead. Frederick de Gross has killed our Fletcher because he just yellowed out. Did he get his torpedoes away though? He did. So Frederick de Gross is either dead or he's not. I know. I, hot takes here on Spartan. You know. So does he die? Yes, he does. Beautiful. All right. Out we go. I, I'm going to take uh, take my chances with this fucking Iowa right now. He also just fired his guns. So we're going to go for a shot into superstructure. And we're going to start turning in. There's our Confederate. He got a little bit more than I... I just saw him shoot. How did he get another shot off that quick? Superstructure again. They all fell short because reason. He hit my torpedo protection with a glancing blow and somehow that does damage. Nobody knows. And the game's over. Okay, well. That ended up better than it could have been. 128k confederate dreadnought first blood clear sky top of the leaderboard 3k base not bad not bad two clear skies in this one the fletcher also had a clear skies nice don't worry this is just the beginning of the carriers wait until the super carriers come out yay i can't wait for legendary carriers it's gonna be so much fun it's gonna be it's gonna be all the fun All right, let's give Maine another shot, because Maine kind of got fucked in the last one. I mean, in fairness, Fletcher did kill the GK, or did kill the FDG, so it, that's a trade I'm willing to take. Like, he gets rid of a healthy, tanky battleship, and he dies with no hit points left. Uh, so, I'll take that trade. If he didn't sink the FDG, whole other ballgame. But, in the, uh, the other scheme of things, you gotta think. Like, uh, if he doesn't do that, and he manages to stay alive, we win either way. He has to, we have to survive that. It's, it's literally two caps to one. All we got to do is survive. There's no reason to be crazy and get yourself killed. So, like, those are the situations where you just got to, like, you got to think differently. You just got to think differently. I'm not going that way because every time I do, it just ends up a mess. So, I'm going to cut right for once and see what happens. It's also another carrier game. Yeah, Maine's fine. There's nothing wrong with Maine. I just don't love it. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Oh boy. Aim a little bit above waterline since he's turning out. 
try to turn away. That was very underwhelming. And he gets all that. This, this is the fucking bullshit that drives me crazy. I'm turning away as hard as I can turn. And his shells find a way to hit every fucking part of my ship to do damage. Multiple full penetrations. Takes a third of my fucking health. My shells do nothing. 7,600 damage. Like, that shit drives me fucking insane. Why is that a thing? Why is it that no matter what I do with my ship, after they pull the trigger, the shells will always find a home? But yet, I fire at somebody else, and they do they do nothing. They just fucking, they all fall short, or they all fucking hit the belt, or they do nothing. That's the, that's the thing that just drives me crazy. I don't understand how that works in a game. Cheeky little shot. It's unlikely to hit, but if it does, it could be juicy. Looks decent. I have no idea what the destroyer was that fired these torpedoes. But I'm slightly terrified that they do have range, so I'm going to have to turn in. And I say we're going to turn in, and then we hold off, and we end up taking a torp. And down goes our Brandenburg already. Where the fuck is their Yamato shooting? I haven't even seen their Yamato pop up. Not that. That's a Massachusetts. Seriously, where the fuck is their Yamato that he's able to hit this guy from wherever the fuck he's at? Is he behind the island, maybe? I feel like I'm about to find out. No way to hit him. Aim for superstructure on Iowa. One torpedo. That guy actually tried to shoot me through that? Kansas comes around to shoot me. Lands like every shell, even though I'm turning away. Meanwhile, I hit two shells on the broadside of a fucking reversing Iowa. Down goes our Mino. Double fired by the skip bombs. Still being shot at from across the map. Great, there's a destroyer out here too. Problem solved, sir. There's the perma flood, and I'm dead. Fun. Wow. This has just not been a good day for the main. Good lord, man. Every time we've taken it out, it's gone horribly wrong.
I'm not even crying. Like, why Why are there so many people tonight saying to stop crying or that I'm being a, a crybaby? Like, the, the, tonight's been one of the tamest streams I've had in quite a while. Like, I'm just calling it out. Like, why is it that every time I shoot at somebody when they're in the same predicament that I am, that my shells just all don't do anything and there's find a mark every time? Like, that, that's not me crying. That's just me stating the facts. Like, I will shoot at a broadside opponent who's doing the exact same maneuver I am, except I am turning out at full fucking throttle, full, full turn, and yet their shells always find all of the fucking marks. And mine will always hit, like, one or two shells. In the exact same situation. Like, it's, it's not that I'm crying. I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'm literally just pointing it out. Like, the same situation, the same guns, literally in Iowa and Maine, have the exact same fucking guns. I just have more of them. So I fire at him, I hit two shells. He fires back at me, and in a full turn, he manages to hit three quarters of his shells, if not every single shell. And he didn't citadel me, so it's not like he was citadeling me. I was angled away. They hit, they went through the deck, and they all fucking did, like, full pins worth of damage. Which is why he took two third, or he took a third of my health, and I took like six k off of him. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't care that the fucking guy hit me. Like, I knew I was gonna get hit. That's the problem when you fire your guns at the beginning of a match. Your broadside, you're gonna get hit in return, even if you do try to turn away. But you try to turn away to negate that shit, and all of the shells manage to hit you, and two of your shells hit them. Because reasons nobody understands. Kind of expecting somebody to light up here. I'm spotted, so it's probably a cruiser. Or it could be a destroyer, but this late it's probably a cruiser. Oh, it is a destroyer. Interesting. Get two pins on him. He fires back and gets a fucking fire on me immediately. Again. Look at this. It's a broadside rune at 15 kilometers. Problem resolution. I wish they'd get rid of the perk that fucking cruiser commanders get for seeing how many people are targeting you. That would allow these people to not do this stupid shit. Where they just fucking sit there broadside and as soon as they see somebody's targeting them, move. It'd be a hell of a lot funnier when these fuckers think that they can just sit here broadside at 15 kilometers and lob people. Of course, the guy that I'm looking at disappears. And half my shells hit the island. And only two shells hit the target. Jean Bart versus Des Moines and Minotaur. Good luck with that one, Jean Bart. That Des Moines should tear him apart. And while we're at it, we'll just double back and oh my god, never mind. The black is, never mind, the black has disappeared. This is what happens when you're in a battleship and you can't overmatch a fucking cruiser. Cruiser just yellows you and just beats you to pieces with its DPM. Hello. Goodbye, Jean Bart. You had fun, hopefully. They've lost both of their destroyers already. And a battleship. That team is fucked.
kind of wish I hadn't used my uh, speed boost to get to it here. I'd, if I had my speed boost now, I could use it to get behind these guys. This is going to take us a while to get behind them now. No chance of lobbing that. He turned away. Whoops. Didn't mean to smack it yet. Hello, Maine. Ouch. I gotta get to. I gotta get rid of this fucking buffalo. Time to make you extinct. Or not? We'll just hit him with one shell, and he's immediately setting me back on fire. Because balance, guys. Balance. Remember that. Balance is everything in this game. high because he's going to turn out. Too high apparently because we missed completely. hell happened to all my shells? Rune, you are playing with fire. I will eventually catch you. That's the one he turns out. Nice work. Nice work. Dude, we got another person in the chat bitching that I'm bitching at my team. I ain't bitched at my fucking team. Dude, just stop. Look. Fuck. I will do it myself. I will literally start hiding every one of you fuckers that are just coming in to troll. Like, if this is your entire plan, like, we're not dealing with it. Like, who's harshing the fucking team? Who's crying? Nobody's crying. Nobody's harshing the team. Y'all are just here to troll. So go away. We don't let trolls. Don't feed the trolls. Don't fucking acknowledge the trolls. Just go the fuck away. Shit's fucking obnoxious. 
Like the constant, the constant crying and bitching. Yeah, that, that's what I'm doing tonight, right? It's called constructive criticism. Now find a tissue. Okay, well then, later, dude. There's a difference between constructive criticism and just bitching in chat that somebody else is bitching. And I'm not bitching. I'm literally just fucking pointing shit out. But if you don't like it, you don't have to be here. Nobody forces you to be here. There's a difference between constructive criticism and just bitching. Like, anybody that goes into a stream and bitches that somebody else is bitching clearly isn't looking at the fucking irony of that whole situation. Like, for real. You're getting free fucking entertainment. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch. It is that simple. I don't care. Like, again, these guys are literally subscribing just to come on here and, and troll in chat. Like, well, that's why we just delete or we hide them immediately. There's no reason for them to be there. So just as a heads up, mods, you have the you have the power to just fucking hide those trolls. There's no reason to have them. They want to be little fucking whiny babies in chat, then they can be whiny babies elsewhere. All they're doing is they're trying to get a reaction out of me, and it's kind of working. So that's why I'm getting rid of them. Like, out of all of my streams where I get upset, like, tonight has been one of the more chill nights. Like, I haven't been upset. There's been a couple of times where I'm like, what the hell are you guys doing? But for the most part, like, I mean, we had a, a team literally die in four minutes. And we got mercy rolled before we could ever get into a game and start actually getting it going. Like, if that's what they're talking about, me calling out my teammates, like, what am I supposed to do? They die in four minutes. It's my fault that they died so quickly. Okay, the front of the ship is that way. What's he doing? He's reversing. That looks good. Three overpins. Philip R coming in with a four pound forty nine. We appreciate you entertaining us. F the trolls. I agree. F the trolls, man. I ain't got time for them. Just in case he starts moving out away from us, we aimed the last couple of shells high, and he did turn away. Those look great. One shell. One shell finds its target. Even though we aimed the last two guns up. But he gets his guaranteed fire.
He's 19 kilometers away, firing HE. Hits me with one shell, gets a fire. Ow, Conqueror actually loaded a AP. Wasn't this guy on our team in the last one? Pretty sure he was. The name sounds familiar. Problem solved, sir. How did we already lose a battleship? A conqueror at that. Also, we're the only team that has a destroyer. Why haven't we captured a base yet? Like, why haven't we ca- Oh. I guess we have technically captured C. He's hit me twice with HE. He has gotten two fires. Tell me again about your 15% fire chance. And we've lost another battleship. Yeah, that's that's fair right there. What was that 20k and one one drop from a, a carrier? What a carrier is it? Lexington. Ah. Instantly back on fire from the cruiser at 20 kilometers. gonna die to a fucking carrier well so much for that idea oh it was the chappy that got the fire on us at the end dude you gotta love it man you gotta love it so much fun Out of all of the ships to play at the tier, the Republic's the best. It ain't even close. Like, as far as battleships go, like, the Republic is the best. Of course, it's a tier 10, so it makes sense. Well, I mean, carriers, as much as they are, like, they're not going anywhere, guys. And wait until legendary carriers come out. That's when it'll be real fun. Like we, we struggle to shoot down planes as is. Can't wait to see the legendary carriers come in with their beefier planes, faster planes, and more more planes per strike with more ordnance drop per strike. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be good. What up, Yair? How's it going? TI's in the chat. Dude, I'm telling you, it, when subs come to the game, and I say win because it's almost a guarantee that they're going to bring them because they fucking do this shit every time, just like they did with carriers. They didn't want carriers in the game because they played PC and they know how broken the fucking carriers are on PC. And yet, what do they do? They bend to the fucking will of the dumbasses that wanted fucking carriers in the game, and now carriers are what they are. Like, they're not going anywhere. So, subs... As much as I hate to even think about them coming, are probably going to come at some point. Do I want them? Hell fucking no. Do I think that they deserve to be in the game? Hell fucking no. But doesn't care what it doesn't matter what I want. 
at the end of the day, they will likely make an appearance at some point in the future. And then I will do what I always do, which is just fucking play around it and bitch about it and fucking deal with it. Just like everybody else. And Bismarck has just lost a third of his health. Hey, it's the same guy again. That's three games in a row. And there's the rest of the health of the Bismarck. And sub two minutes. That's got to be a record. I don't think I've ever seen a Bismarck throw all of his health away in under two minutes. That's pretty impressive. I need intelligence data. Attention, reporting the target position. And Wichita has chosen death. Boy, the amount of stupidity that you see in these games is pretty, pretty crazy sometimes. Hearing goes down, of course. It'd be real nice if I could see the fucking enemy right about now. Main kills Bismarck. This guy gets to go all the way across because our destroyer drops in the smoke screen. to make our decision here in the near future because we're going to end up getting yellow rushed by this Shima and killed so I think it's time I think it's time boys before we get yellow rushed we might as well make it a thing there he is
Problem résolu, chef. Okay, he's spotting us, but... Oh, no. He held a set. I thought he dropped all it. We're dead. That's GG's. Damn it, man. He held a set. I thought he dropped all three sets. Well done to him. That's what I was worried was going to happen. I thought he was going to yellow us. We took all of his health, but again, I mean, our team... <sighs> we were trying to avoid that happening. We just sped up the process, I think. I think he was coming to get us either way, which is why we caught him kind of coming in, but we just weren't able to get rid of him. Unfortunate. I guess we go FDG this time. RJ, you're my biggest fan at 585 pounds. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, man, for real. I'm glad you enjoyed the channel, but I really do hope you uh, are able to uh, get yourself straightened out, my dude. Trust me. As somebody who's been over 330 pounds, I, I, know, the, I know how rough it can be. So uh, I, I hope everything goes well for you, man. I really do. I have not tried tier 8 uh, cruisers and destroyers yet because I don't have the silver. I don't have the silver. I have to I have to earn enough silver to actually get them. I have all the XP most likely that I need to get them. I just don't have the silver. Well, well I wish you the best, man. For real. Uh, it's not easy. That's for sure. Been there, done that. Like I said... And my biggest, I was 330 plus pounds and I'm down to uh, 235 pounds. So definitely glad to hear that you're trying to get onto the healthier side of life because it ain't no fun, man. It ain't no fun getting out of breath, walking upstairs, your knees and your hips hurting you constantly. I get it. Been there, done that. Not to mention all of the other uh, health problems that come with being overweight as you get older. It's just not worth it. Mark 14, greatest torpedo ever invented. Uh, I think there's a whole lot of people that would beg to differ on that. <laughs> Fucking Mark 14 was awful. Another carrier game. Two destroyers. Top tier, though. Lil Pete got in here. I saw that. Not going to lie. I, I read the guy's name in the Lexington's. His name is Robert Gators. But for some reason, when I first read his name in my mind, I, I saw Robot Gators. I was like, why, why do we need Robot Gators? All I'm saying is everybody talks crap about the American torpedoes, but they seem to get the job done when they needed to. Ask, uh, shoot, was it Shinano? Was that the, the Yami carrier? I think it was. It was the three. It was Yamato, Musashi, and I think it was Shinano or sh something like that. But, uh, it was sank by a single American submarine. So, yeah. American damage control was superior to the Japanese by miles and miles and miles. Like, our damage control was off the charts compared to theirs. And the carrier spawned on our side of the map. It's fun. Hey, look, a chappy again. Oh, look, a destroyer. But we've already been attacked by the carrier, the chappy, two of their battleships. And a destroyer. Oh, both their destroyers are over here. Fun. 
We've literally got all the fun over here. And it causes a flood. Of course it does. Of course it does. Are we having fun yet? I feel like I'm having fun. I've managed to shoot down three planes so far. And do 1200 damage back to the guy. Fun is being had indeed. Oh, don't worry, he disappeared. Also, we did hit the carrier, but we bounced off of him. Because, you know, that's what the carriers are noted for, is their extremely tough exoskeleton. Oh, but look, we're about to be rushed by a destroyer. Might as well keep them lit up. Wouldn't want them going dark here. Don't worry, we're being shot at from the other side of the map now. Look at that dispersion. Isn't that just lovely? Truly is a thing to behold when you get those shots that just go everywhere but the target. That looks better. Hit Adele. Ismo should be going down any time. There he goes. Unser Team hat die Führung übernommen. We're gonna go ahead and start working to fire at these guys across the map. Since they're just begging for it over there. FDG does like to take citadels from pretty much any angle. Don't worry, battleship buddy. I'll take you to where you need to be. The enemy's this way.
Unser Sieg ist in Sicht. Look at those railguns. Even gave us a citadel for that one. Interesting. Down goes their main. Main dying to aroma is pretty sad, but whatever. If you look at their positioning, it's no wonder that they're dying to the Roma. If you just sail broadside to a battleship at close range, people are going to punch you. Even something as inaccurate as a Roma with its 15 inch guns. Just word of advice. Good news is, by the time this guy gets spotted in a carrier again, we should be in position to shoot him. I like how he's attacking a Friesland, like the most AA-driven destroyer in the game. Like that's literally going to just shred your planes. Do, 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 do. What up, Leslie? Appreciate you dropping in. Michael Chance, how's it going? This guy seems to be parked behind the island. Yeah. You are, in fact, the cone of shame. I, at least you're living up to your name. And now you die. Look at the shells coming in for that guy. And like none of them are really doing any damage. Alright, well that was fun, wasn't it? Wasn't that that was that was fun. We got three kills, we were halfway down the team. Cause we didn't do shit for damage. All right, I think this will be probably our last one, guys. We've been going for almost three hours now. Appreciate everybody dropping in. Hopefully you've enjoyed the stream, despite the trolls. Hey, we are only seven likes away from 300. Can we reach that 300 barrier before the end of the match? That is the question. And we're at 309. <laughs> Y'all never fail. Y'all just smash it. Now the question becomes, we're getting close to 400 likes. Can you guys hit 400 likes by the end of the match? That's the that's the real challenge. You guys went from being uh, just real close to 300 to being like 330. Y'all are crazy. Can we hit 400? Can we hit 400 before we get into the next match? That's the That's the real question. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious three forty only sixty more to go. Can we hit four hundred before we get into a lobby? Also, for those of you who are trying to chat but it won't let you, got to make sure you're subscribed. I turn on subscriber-only chat to keep the bots away. So if you guys 
are trying to are trying to talk in chat and it won't let you that's why so uh make sure you hit that subscribe button Look at that. Instant subscribe. There you go. See, that's what we're talking about. Thank you, guys. You know, some would say that about you, Monty. If I wanted the bots to leave, why are you still here? Everybody knows Monty is as scary as a newborn puppy. Right, Jason? What up, Aaron? How's it going? Spartan cut you deep? Yeah, like every time we've 1v1. Like literally every time. Hey, we're into a match, but we did not hit 400 likes. This will be a short lobby because we're over three minutes. So it's probably like a 4v4 or something. No, actually it's not. It's a 7v7. All right. Carrier and a destroyer in a 7v7. Top tier though. And I got good AA because I'm in a Republic, so we should be good there. <laughs> Let's go. All right, the challenge is still on, though. Can we hit 400 likes now before the end of this this game? You guys know sometimes they end quickly, so you guys are gonna have to be on the roll. We still got 300 people watching the stream. I know some of y'all haven't subscribed or hasn't hit that like button. Appreciate you, Reno. Welcome to the channel. What up, Holden? Death? Okay, we have a Zuma over here. Richelieu. We're spotted by planes immediately. That was a good opening shot. He got it a good opening shot back at us, and now we have the Richelieu shooting at us with HE, it looks like. One torpedo. What are the odds it's a flood? Not a flood. We've already shot down three planes. Because that's the only planes he brought to us. The rune did speed up. We've got the Izumo shooting at us with AG now. We'll shoot out ahead of him and see if we can get him to turn or to speed up into him. Because he was speeding up. And they land short and long. We've already lost half our hit points. Because we're the only thing being shot at. Uh, nobody's taking a whole lot in damage back either. We're going to have to be a little bit more selective here. Start conserving our hit points. All their battleships are over this way. At least what I've seen so far. We've killed their destroyers, so that should be a win for our team. This 
This guy seems to be in reverse. We'll take a shot for superstructure. And there's their monarch. He's going away. And gives him a permafire. But he loses all of his plates. This thing takes a lot of damage to the superstructure compared to like a Jean Bart or a Richelieu. And this thing does hit or get hit really hard to the superstructure. Feels like an American or a German battleship in that regard. Kind of want our freaking cruiser to like push forward with me here. And uh, here comes the torpedoes. He gets a flood. That's why we didn't put the damage con or we didn't use the damage con on the fire. We've shot down 16 planes. Problem resolu, chef. Somehow their Kansas has lost all their hill. So there's that. Let's see if we can't get this cruiser to push with us. Izumo goes down. We got literally nothing out of that. This could hurt. There's the clear sky, though. Rear guns made it past. Aim high because I'm expecting him to turn out. And we overlet him. That's unfortunate. Okay, the rune went down. Monarch just killed our Vladdy. I wish that cruiser would just follow me up here. He's playing extremely passively. And it's going to be my downfall. Two HE spamming battleships and an HE spamming bomb from this. Gives him the fire, which we expected.
We live. For the moment. Again, if this cruiser had just pushed up with us, like, we could survive that, but he kind of played it way too passively. I don't know why. He could have easily just pushed up in there with us into the cap, but whatever. Whatever. It's a win. All right, that's not the last one. We got to have a good game to end on. All right, maybe we go off a of tier 8. Let's, let's play one game that's not a tier 8. Let's go legendary. And let's go, uh, Montana. Yeah, I know he went for the cap, but in that situation, it's a, it's a, it's a fight against two HE spamming battleships and a carrier. Like, your DPM could be useful, too. Plus, you keep your battleship alive by staying with them rather than just dropping off, but getting the cap is a win, too. You never know. Do, 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 do. Yami, Kerfirst, Montana, Mino, Shima, Delny, Fletcher. All right, well, let's see what we can get into. Of course, the destroyer that spawns next to me isn't moving. That's pretty normal for high tier gameplay. Wouldn't want you to be, like, actually involved in the first 30 seconds of a match. Then he's going straight to the inside instead of staying out here for reasons unknown. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Vanguard, but he's in a position I can't shoot. Curve first, Roma. Just gonna hold my fire for now see if any oh, never mind these guys just got me spotted mm, got a couple of hits yes make that turn please Wish you would have opened up a little bit further, but we'll take a shot at your superstructure. Spotter airborne. Ah, shit. I don't think we let him enough. Maybe we did. It looks like it might hit superstructure. A couple. Oh, Roma. I wish I'd have seen you sooner. Twenty kilometers away, shot on a destroyer stopping at a smoke screen. We got one overpin. Oh shit. 
Well, that's unfortunate. Gotta love Shima torpedoes, am I right, boys? Gotta love Shima torpedoes. One torpedo, 23,000 damage. Problem solved, sir. If only we had a radar destroyer that spawned with us that wasn't just sitting in the middle of the damn map. Yama kills our conqueror. There you go. Well, if our Republic is running away, I should probably stick close to him before I eat all these torpedoes. Never mind, it looks like I'm dead. I love this game. This, this game is so much fun. It really is. It's so much fun when you get hunted by a destroyer and you can't see them. Like we took two torpedoes initially, and then we bounced around to do another side, and he's already reloaded his torpedoes and got him on the way. Like, there's just nothing you can do. There's just nothing you can do about it. If you're up against a good Shima player, you're fucked. Like, that's the end of the game. Like, you just, you have no chance. And again, we spawned with a radar destroyer that could counter him, but he was too busy running to the center of the map to play fucking peekaboo around an island for some reason instead of sticking with the side that he spawns on and potentially helping us. <sighs> we will get a good game to end the stream on. I don't care. Friesland and Sumner. Yami, Yami, Iowa, Iowa, Vanguard. Somebody failed a vision to Siegfried in. That's hilarious. I say failed a vision. It's a tier 7, but it, I thought it was a tier 6 for some reason. Huh. <sighs> Uh, FTC K9 unit. Appreciate you, my dude. Welcome to the Spartiates. Thank you for becoming the newest member on the channel. Of course. How do I get returned? I've been turning this entire time. So what happens to me? Yep, every shell hits me. Five overpins on an Alaska in mid-range. He gets one shell to go through the bow side plating at an angle away from him. He gets more damage than I just did on his ship broadside with 18 inch guns. There's the Citadel. Only that would have happened the first time.
like I said, Yami's just so easy to play. Like, anybody that just plays this ship all the time, I, I feel bad for you. Because this ship is so easy to play. Like, I get why you do it, but damn, it's so easy. Like, we're already at 60k, and we haven't even really done anything. Just point and click on people. Look at that. I mean, is, is that fair? Like, dude is, like, backing up. He's trying to get away. We're still hitting him for 20k a salvo. Don't worry, Vanguard. Another four weeks and maybe you won't have to fight another Yami. Broadside Iowa just begging for it. First two guns look like rail guns. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. <sighs> He's lucky that those aren't citadels. Good luck and fair seas. That guy just healed all of his health back, and I just took it away from him again. Yami's sailing away from us, which is preferable. These Iowas are actually doing the right thing and keeping themselves separate from me so that one gets a potential broadside of me and the other one gets to bow tank me. So at least they're trying between the two Iowas. Oh, no. Oh, that could have been much worse. That could have been much worse. That's why we put that plane up. I needed to know where he was. That could have been death right there. Sneaky little booger. Unfortunately for you, though, Iowa, I also pay, pay attention. And now you're in a bow tanking position against an Iowa who reloads faster than you and overmatches you. It may not be fair, but it's the game. So hopefully you enjoyed. You had your chance. You failed. And now you die. Yes, stay bow into me. It works. It totally limits how much damage I can hit you with. He fires back and he gets... Oh, he hurt me so bad, guys. It's so bad. One of the most powerful battleships ever built. Fastest, sexiest battleship ever built. And he gets nothing out of it. And now you die. Good G GG, my dude. It's not your fault that the game's completely and utterly broken and imbalanced. It's really not. It's just that Yami is clearly, clearly the greatest ship that was ever built. Just ask Wargaming. Even though it was never actually proven to be anything more than a, 
overgrown coral reef. And there's all of his health gone too. Ah, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. And just like that, we went from uh, a really whole hum game to 222,000 damage because we're just clearly better players. It has nothing to do with the ship being completely and utterly broken and imbalanced. It's just that we're better. We're superior. <laughs> Doge, I think you're right, man. I think you're right. <laughs> Wow, there you go, boys. That is the uh, the final battle for sure. We, we completely decimated our side of the map because Yami is just broken. Top of the team, 2,400 base XP, only one kill, though. And we made money. So you can't argue with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I enjoyed, I know. Uh, it's definitely not the saltiest stream we've ever had, which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy the stream? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.